Introducing to you first on my left, the challenger, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing blue trunks with white trim. He is fighting out of Bronx, New York, by way of Accra, Ghana. He weighed in at the welterweight limit of 147 pounds. His record stands at 30 wins, one defeat, one no contest, with 20 wins coming by way of knockout. He is ranked the WBO number six welterweight contender. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the challenger, introducing Joshua Clotty. opponent across the ring, the defending world champion on my right, fighting out of the red corner, wearing maroon trunks with silver trim, hailing from Tijuana, Baja California, Mexico. He weighed in the same as his opponent, 147 pounds, his record 33 wins, 4 losses, 1 no contest with 24 wins coming by way of knockout. Tonight, making the seventh defense of his title, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the WBO welterweight champion of the world, known as the Tijuana Tornado, introducing Antonio, Tony Margarito. Once again, a referee in charge, Benji Estevez, now to give instructions, 12 rounds of championship boxing scheduled. Watch Joel for the cue before the fight starts. Take the, take the headband off. Bring him together. Give me a sec. Give me a sec. Let's clear it out. Let's clear him out. Okay, man. I'm going to repeat my instructions. I want a nice, clean match. Una pelea limpia. Protect yourself at all times. Te protege durante el combate a todo tiempo. I want to wish you both luck. El CEO suelta los dos, déjame un touch. Oigame, súbele el cinturón un poquito. Intriguing matchup. Neither guy will back down. Busy, high volume. Antonio Margarito, not the most technically gifted, but a very exciting brawling style. Typically a slow starter who breaks you down. The physical, accurate Joshua Cloudy, who really commits to the body, often comes in perilously with his head. And be mindful that Margarito has had issues with cuts. Will Cloudy jump on the champion, knowing he doesn't start fast? Plus, Cotty has been known to fatigue in the late rounds. But watch out for those rough house tactics for Joshua Cloudy in the blue. Margarito in the maroon. Cloudy says his defense will solve the Margarito puzzle. He'll block a lot of punches, and Margarito throws a lot of punches. He wants to get inside and dig to Margarito's body. Margarito usually comes forward in ultra-aggressive fashion, but tonight we wonder if he'll be more cautious. And being the, the taller guy with the longer reach, should he give himself more room to throw, as Al pointed out earlier. But what if his warrior mentality kicks in? This could get very messy. There's Cloudy with the left hook early on. It's a punch would be very important for him. And remember, you mentioned not much time spent in the ring this year by Antonio Margarito. Um, and you can spar all you want. It's not the same as being in the ring. Only two fights in 20 months for Antonio Margarito. And as mentioned, not normally a torrent starter, but it only took him 74 seconds to take out his last opponent, a faded Manuel Gomez in February, a statement-like punch-out. You see Claudia on the outside. He is very good at keeping his hands high. You must do that against Margarito. Now, he doesn't want to stay on the outside, but while Claudia is there, defending that way will help you. And now, as you know, Margarito has a superb uppercut in either hand. That was very effective in his last fight. But you got to go back to 2001 for his previous first round knockout. Joshua Clotty is getting the left hand in on the inside very well early in this fight. He landed an uppercut. He landed a couple of short left hooks. When he gets inside the jab of Margarito, he's already making some good things happen. And you see Margarito wanting very much to use the jab to keep him at bay. He said, that's the punch that will give me my punching distance. Clotty, a precision puncher. Good shot to the side of Margarito's body there by Clotty. 
He is fundamentally sound, Claudie. Ring smart. Keeps his hands high, his elbows tucked in, as you can see. Very tight, responsible type defense. Good chin. Claudie, a good counter puncher. It's very nice all-around skills. You know, Margarito throwing the jab out there. Most of, almost all of those block. But, of course, they're range finders. He wants to get that big right hand in. There was that left uppercut by Margarito, but blocked by Claudie. Claudie's never been stopped. As mentioned, the only loss to DQ to Baldemir. Many thought that was a questionable stoppage. Five seconds. Cinco segundos. As we head for the bell in the opening round. Take your time, honey. Take your time. When he can get inside, Joshua Cloudy is able to do things like this. He gets inside, and you'll see that uppercut come right through the middle of the defense of Antonio Margarito. Very nice punch, and that plus some short left hooks, very effective. You see a look at it on the inside. It didn't land perfectly, but it, it could be a portent of things to come. He's alive, he's alive. You got to keep moving around. Don't save your rats. Okay, you got that straight? Okay, use intelligence. Use intelligence and have control. Felix de Jesus with the translation. Margarito has been down three times in his career. 38 fights all told. The last time was in 99 versus Danny Perez. Also went down against Miguel uh, Gonzalez. But the one I know that was of concern to you was Juan Soberanes in 96. Because he knocked him down with a body shot. And those are the kind of punches that Claudi will hit Margarito with. So it's a, it, that's a significant one. That was right to the liver. Should point out, though, uh, Margarito came back off the canvas to win all three. The upstairs shot was blocked. Now he goes to the body. His body shots are more successful, Margarito. But when he goes upstairs, they're being blocked. Margarito is getting countered. There's a left hook by Clyde. Margarito has to be very careful when he throws that right hand not to be countered by the hook. And there's a nice right hand, a right cross that connected by Clyde. Things are heating up here. This is already a fun match. And, you know, I talked about location. This battle is being waged on the inside. That's all to the good for Joshua Claudio. Margarito has won three straight all by knockout. Undefeated at 147 in his last 25 fights dating back to 96. His only loss in the last 10. Another good right hand by Claudio. 10 years when he moved up to 154 watch your head, watch your against Daniel Santos. You know, I would understand Claudio landing these left hooks, but the right hand is getting through a little bit to Margarito, too. That's got to be a little worrisome to Margarito's corner. Nice lunging left hand there by Claudio. He does have a, a tendency to lunge in, Claudio, which could work to his disadvantage with a guy like Margarito. You're supposed to work your way in, jab your way in, but he's getting his way here. That's a triple left hook by Claudio. Now, with all this good work by Joshua Claudio early in this fight, we did tell you that Margarito sometimes takes a couple rounds to get going, and he is so dangerous as a puncher. But Claudio has got to like the way rounds one and two have gone for him. And then Claudio uh, uh, able to look pretty good off the road just a second ago, which is uh, perhaps something he learned from Azuma Nelson, who was so successful with that against Jeff Fennick in his two fights. And there's a beautiful double left hook to the body and head by, by Claudio, the, the ref, Benji Estevez, telling Claudio to get the punches up. Of course, he is uh, notorious for low blows, head bumps, and holding. He was penalized in his fight against Gutierrez for low blows. I thought a lot of that was out of retaliation, but he does have a reputation of doing that.
Well, they'll well, speak a combination of God and English. English. If you go inside, you got advantage. When you start from left and on the right. Here is Margarito using the jab, but taking in return a counter right and a counter left hand by Claudi. And see how the distance between these two men. Here's Claudi ripping the left hook. It's actually a triple left hook. Now two of the three landed, but the idea is the right thing. That's what Claudi's supposed to be doing. So from a technical and strategic standpoint, Steve, Claudi is doing what he needs to do. Meanwhile, Margarito getting a warning from Benji Estevez, third man of the ring, for hitting to the back of the head. So there's a reversal. Usually it's Claudio. 